Hello, welcome to a short haul video. It is fall of 2018. I have shown this stack of magazine in a live chat, but I figure now you can see it up close in clearer pictures. Beautiful. Uh, I'm so happy to stumble across this. Lots of um, unread. Temporera magazine. So here you have issue 27. Beautiful. And I can tell you the back of all of these magazines, which I won't show, but, but the first one, they are in really good condition. Okay, so not that it matters, not like these things are worth a ton of money or anything like that, but hey, for me, being able to buy magazine, black and white magazine like this for cheap, I'm not gonna complain. Beautiful cover here. Look at this one. Issue 28. Look at that. Wow. My favorite is right here. Issue 31. Look at that. Frazetta, baby. Issue 33. Thirty-five is just beautiful too, as far as the cover. I don't plan to complete a run of Vampirella, but whenever I see something like this for cheap, there is no way I am turning down. Look at this one, huh? Issue thirty-six, beautiful. It's a square bound issue too. Issue thirty-eight. Check that out. Wowza, right? 50. Oh yeah, 66. Look at this beauty. Check out that crazy cover. Okay, so now let's move on to the comic portion of the haul. Okay, so let's get going with the comic haul. Journey to Mystery issue 102. A really nice copy. I would say it's probably in the 5.5 range. Could it be a 6? Yeah, but you know me, mid-grade books without any major corner creases is my jam, okay? Yes, another copy of X-Men 101. As if I need another copy, right? But, what makes this special? Let me show you. I should have done this first and show it first. Instead of fumbling through it now. This one, I have a high-grade copy. To enjoy, but this one is mid grade, okay. But uh, have a have a crease right here, and a couple of creases on the back cover, but it's perfectly center, okay. As you can see, perfectly center. So that's a big plus. But the biggest plus and the reason why I picked it up, right there. How much better can it be, right? Dave Cockrum signature on. Probably one of his most iconic, one of the most iconic X-Men book that he worked on. So very happy with that buy. Uh, this is a nice upgrade for my Silver Age X-Men. Okay, I have a copy, but it's probably in the five range. This one is uber high grade. Nothing keys. It's just that I saw it. It was uh, high grade, probably like a nine two ish, and it's for cheap. You gotta pick it up. Here is a Bernie Wrightson cover that I don't see often anywhere. Not that many people collect weird mystery tales, but it's a really cool Bernie Wrightson piece of art right there. Look at that. I bet many people have never seen this book, right? It's not your house of secret, house of mystery kind of book. When it comes down to Batman, cover silver age you know me I like to pick them up I, I 
I have no plan to collect and complete a run of Batman or Detective. No plan whatsoever. Zero. But when it comes down to Joker's cover, yes, I do try to pick them up as often as I see them. This one is probably like an 8.5. Beautiful book. The green is just gorgeous. Look at that. Let's look at that. Yeah. It's a beauty. Oh my goodness. I'm just glad to have this book and the search for this uh, is over. This is a low grade. Okay, this is not any kind of high grade book. It's probably at best a 2.5, but a presentable 2.5. Okay, when you have no major creases corner. Yes, the, there, are, there are creases. Okay, right there. But for some reason, it, it bothers me more if that three or four inch crease is right there instead of right here. There's some smudges right here. There's plenty of uh, spine wear. But hey, for the right price, I am okay with that. Here is another low grade book that present well. Is spine split right here. They are about maybe two inches of spine split and a couple of holes, chips on the spine. But the rest of the cover, look at that. No major corner creases or anything. So yeah, I'm fine with that, okay? I'm fine with something like this. That could be a 2.5 or a 3 as far as the grade. Look at that, yeah. Last but not least for this haul is another EC. Love this great looking drawing right here, okay? And like many EC books that I try to buy low grade with no major corner creases, most of the wares here are on the spine, okay? It's probably, I say, probably a four, all right? But hey, affordable. Good looking. That's all there is, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.